Hey everybody and welcome to the video. This one's all about the powder keg. That's right, the flintlock set has another addition in the form of a bow. What sets this bow apart from any of the other bows? Well, it has a giant barrel on the end of the arrow. So whenever you shoot it and it hits, after two seconds, it will explode. Just like most of the other bows, it has double crit rating, double crit damage and energy, which of course is my favorite. And Unlike the Xenon bow, this one has a snare instead of affliction, or of course, any other unique six perk. So what is this bow all about? Well, we just described it in a sense. The barrel that explodes after two seconds is really what sets this bow apart from any other bow. We can compare it to the boom bow, which explodes instantly and uses shotgun ammo, whereas the powder keg uses sniper ammo and explodes after two seconds. What I like about this bow, it's unique looking, and of course it has a nice big A AOE effect, which is fantastic against weaker monsters, the vertically challenged husks, the skinny husks, of course the flobbers, all of the weaker monsters, this bow is really, really nice. Now, when you start to step it up to the husky husks, when you start to step it up to the laser faces, or of course the smasher, this bow is definitely not up to par. It does little to no damage against the tankier units. So smashers, husky husk, and of course, laser faces will take multiple hits to kill with this bow this is definitely a specialized bow that is going to aoe clear all of the weaker monsters that being said even if you do hit a husk in the face with this arrow which will do damage and then will take the explosion damage this bow definitely does not meet the marks the benchmarks fall far below the other one. The Xenon bow that just came out is amazing and definitely I love, love, love the shotgun bow, AKA the boom bow. That thing is incredible. Great single target damage, great AOE, probably the top tier bow in my opinion. Now I also do like the vacuum bow, though I don't love it, it is starting to grow on me the more I use it and especially whenever I do use it and then compare something like this bow to it. So I definitely like the boom Boombo, the vacuum bow, and the Xenon bow all more than this one. So you're asking me, yo, Lion, should I level this bow up? In my opinion, I would not legendary this one up. I'd put it in the collection book. There's a nice spot for it. So once you get the bow in the collection book, go ahead and try somebody else's and then you'll think to yourself, you know what? That was a really good decision. In addition to not being able to deal the DPS to the heavier, tankier husks and mist monsters, this bow also sets off the target tar traps. So as you can see, whenever I do shoot the husk near the tar trap, the explosion from the keg blowing up does trigger the tar, which means that all of those husks are walking by it, which means that the smashers are going by. This is definitely not an endurance bow at all unless you're just nowhere near any of your traps but then again you're having to watch out for it with the xenon bow you don't have to worry about that at all with the vacuum bow you don't have to worry about that at all all that being said in addition to not dealing the dps you need in addition to triggering the tar traps which you don't want the pullback on this bow has got to be like 1.8 seconds almost two seconds and then the reload time on this thing is just ridiculous as well so with all of those things going against it it doesn't deal the dps that it needs to it triggers the trap and the pullback is super nasty on it i'm gonna go ahead and give this one a pass go ahead and put it in the collection book. I definitely brought this video to you <laughs> because you asked for it. Thank you all so much for checking out the video. Even if you don't like the bow, make sure to hit that like and that subscribe. It definitely helps out and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Take care everyone.